All right, my good people. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Art Czar back with you live in effect for yet another review. You know, my good peoples, I've been waiting <laughs> diligently for an opportunity to actually do this particular review. I uh, was waiting on this item for the past couple of weeks or so to get here. I had to import these from Italy. So it took quite a while uh, to get this particular item, but I am very excited about it. Uh, I'm going to be revealing today and doing this review on the Caparici Blue Alligator uh, Agnellos. And what they are, they are a alligator uh, skin, which is an exotic leather, and a true alligator skin uh, leather horse bit loafer. Man, these things are fire. When I tell you fire, uh, they're fire. I was <laughs> messaging and uh, gave a notification to my good buddy, Curtis Solar. I let him know as soon as these would come in, I would do a review on them. So hopefully he's going to get a chance to check this out as well. Uh, he's a watch and shoe guy. Uh, Curtis Solar, check out his channel. Great reviews and products on things like uh, uh, Invicta watches and different types of exotic uh, shoes. I'm, I'm a little man on the totem pole compared to that guy. He's... <laughs> He's reviewing some very exotic uh, shoes that I'm, I'm, I'm hopefully one day I'm indebted, but I hopefully I'll be able to uh, measure up to him. So, but uh, what I'll do, uh, we'll go forward on this. So, again, uh, this item I just got this item uh, a day or so ago, and I was waiting for it to arrive, but it finally did. So let's go ahead and bust this thing open so I can show you guys what's uh, inside of this. Uh, box and the content you guys are going to be thrilled to see this so any of you shoe enthusiasts out there you're going to be like wow man this is awesome so we're going to bust off the paper they now one of the things i want to point out is they come in these awesome uh linen shoe bags it's like a cloth linen it's not completely linen but it's it's like a cross between cloth and linen uh, again, these are Italian, the Caparicis. They are made in Italy. And so it took a while to get these, but they finally came in. And so let's go ahead and bust this out of the bag. Give you guys an idea of what we're talking about here. And there we go. In all of its glory. Look at that shoe. It looks black on camera, but I'm here to tell you it's like a real dark blue. I thought they were black, to be honest with you. I'm not, I'm not gonna even lie. When I purchased these, I thought they were all black. I said, yeah, I can I can rock these with a bunch of stuff. I said, man, these things are gonna look good with pretty much everything. Because a black shoe can go with pretty much everything to some degree or another, but it's not. These have a blue tint to them. It's gonna be hard for you guys to see it. And I, I think you may can get a nice little glimpse of that. See that blue? Uh, right in there, it's blue. It's like a blue tint all in here. Can you guys see that? Let's see if I can focus in on that. Maybe you can, maybe you can. But this is some exotic firepower right here, man. Caparici, my hat goes off to you guys. Now let's go ahead and break down this particular item. Let's tell you what this guy's made of. So as you can see, uh, all leather scales on this uh, particular item. You can see here. Now, it's funny how, they, first of all, they actually make the item uh, on the top of the toe where you're gonna flex the shoe, like right in here, where most of the flexing is gonna happen at. They use the underbody of the gator that slithers along the ground into the mud and or along the rocks and the dirt and the gravel and right into the swamp or whatever it's gonna jump into the, uh, the, the, uh, the body of water, you know? They, 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 they use this part of the gator, I guess because it flexes the most on the gator, and it's 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 pretty strong because it slithers across about everything out there, and it's pretty uh pretty uh pretty strenuous of a, of a particular part of the animal, so it's not going to crack and stuff like that as easily as other parts of leather would possibly do. So let's move on. This thing is stitched with perfection, man. You can look right here. You can see that stitching along the edge of that uh. Of that uh of that trap right there they've double layered this stuff all the way through and throughout see that that stitching goes all the way it's very pronounced and then it goes around this buckle of course where the horse bit is and you can see 
Uh, Gucci, of course, made the horse bit uh, very famous back in the uh, 50s and the 60s. But uh, since then, a lot of companies have taken that. Uh, I hate to say they stolen it. I don't think that's the case. I just think that they've inspired other people to use the same type of uh, approach when making shoes that uh, go a long way. So you can see different parts of the gator was used for this particular cut of the, the leather. This is the underbody. I think this is some part of the, uh, the, uh, the underbody to some degree or another, but not the top. I don't, that top scaly part, this may be some of the top. I'm, I've never seen the process of an actual alligator shoe getting made. So I don't know how they cut it and what they do with the skin to help. But I can tell you this, they have spared no expense. And you can see along the sides there, this is one part of the reptilian animal uh, in and of itself. But as you look at it, and then they switch it for the heel cap. See, the heel cap goes to that same type of leather that's right here on the front. I don't know how they do that or how they come up with that ideology or why they do it that way, but that's what they do. Now, this is a full leather shoe all the way out. And I'm going to get to that in a second. So let's go to the underbody of the shoe. So let's flip this bad boy over. Now, you know this is a true authentic gator shoe. And it's not just embossed leather or whatever. You see right here where it says handcrafted in Italy. And it says genuine alligator. Right there. See that? I have a big foot. I'm 11 and a half, so don't laugh at me. I, I, <laughs> I'm not a clown, uh, shoot, clown foot person, but you know. But you can see this is a good year or a Blake Rapid stitch, actually. It's not a good year, Well, You can see the stitching under the body of the shoe. It's all leather sole. Okay, you see that stitching that uh, goes along the base? Very deep in deep or in depth stitching. It goes into a channel. It's a channel stitch, actually. And it's Blake stitch. It's stitched from the inside of the shoe. And it goes all the way around to the base of the heel, which is also a leather stacked heel, by the way. This is a really, really good item, really good shoe. This is going to hold up over time. I'm going to, of course, I'm going to treat it. And I like how the scales actually flex. It's weird. You see, you can see how these scales actually flex with the movement of the shoe. That's crazy. I like that how that happens. See that? I've never seen that before. So if you look at a snake or any kind of reptile, you notice that their scales kind of flex with their movement. And so if I see I'm, I'm flexing the shoe outward like this, but once your foot is in there, it flexes in like this. So the scales kind of move with the flex of the shoe. Look at that. I've never seen anything like that before. It's, oh, it's crazy. It's highly exotic. So we have a full leather sole. That's genuine alligator. And then you have, of course, the exotic leathers of the actual skin of the animal with the horse bit. That's made out of, of course, a high level uh, it's like a, it's like a very, it's a, it's a chrome finish. It's not like a gun metal or anything like that, but it's high gloss, high shine, and it's very strong. It's probably a uh, solid kind of steel of some sort. But then let's go to the inside of the shoe, the end body, inner, inner part of the shoe. So you notice inside, this is a full leather sole. The sole is made of leather, very much comfort for breathability and things like that. And then the interior walls of the shoe are also leather lined. It's a fully lined shoe with leather. Fully leather lined. I believe this will be a calf skin on the inside of it, obviously. It's not going to be an alligator inside the shoe. That's going to be an outside type of thing. But this is definitely going to be a calf skin uh, inside this particular shoe. And obviously, it has the little strip of uh, that little strip there. Try to get a little brighter if I can. There we go. It's got a strip of uh, suede back here so it doesn't slip off the heel. That's one of the things you can appreciate for a nice loafer. This loafer fits very nice on the foot. They're not loose or whatever. It's like a custom made fit to a degree. It's like a custom shoe. It's almost like a, a bespoke shoe in a sense, but it wasn't built specifically for my foot, but you could tell they had that in mind when they crafted this shoe. No doubt about it. And I mean, it's, 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 it's very uh, well pronounced all through and throughout. Very nice shoe. So this is one that I'm going to definitely kick out there on the, on the town uh, as it warms up. It's already May, going into uh, June. It's, time is going so fast. But this is something, of course, you will throw this on with some no-show socks. Uh, I'm not big on the shorts or whatever have you. Some nice uh, uh, chinos will just kill it. Some nice, uh, uh, I would say, some nice tapered jeans. 
uh, would do this with a nice blazer or something like that. If you want to go to a business meeting or something, you want to throw these on. Very classy. You will be able to pull it off, gentlemen. Make no mistake about that. This is going to be one of those shoes that is going to inspire confidence. Whoever's going to, whoever's going to own this particular item, I'll tell you right now. And I'll just add this in here for the backdrop so you can get the best effect of how it pops. That shoe pops, man. That, my friends, is what I call an exquisite and finely made dress shoe for the likes of the, of the, uh, the, the uh, stylish man. So, guys, this again is the Caparici Alligator Horsebit Loafer in a dark, dark navy blue. And so, guys, go ahead and check this out. Uh, you can Google the company Caparici. You can go on different various websites and find something like this. Uh, but again, I was lucky enough to locate these shoes. Uh, something that I came up, stumbled across and I just had to get it. It was just something that I've never owned before. I have a lot of shoes, but this one right here, this is one of the ones you're proud of. You see smile at the end of the night when you uh, put this thing on your rack or your shoe rack in your closet. So uh, this is it, guys. And again, the Caparici horse bit loafer in dark navy blue with full leather reptile skin on an alligator. All right. So, guys, do me a favor. Like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment down below down below leave a comment and uh, let me know what you guys think i'll be doing some more reviews coming up as you guys drop me some wonderful comments i appreciate your time uh thoughts blessings and uh peace and sanctity to everyone out there thanks peace